Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss further into hyperbolic trigonometric identities, and I'll go over cosh or hyperbolic cosine, and then x minus y, and solve that identity. Yeah, so let's just go and solve that. It's going to be a pretty quick video. Basically, the way we will do it is recall from my earlier video that I already proved that the identity cosh x plus y equals to cosh x times cosh y plus, and then we have cinch or hyperbolic sine x, and then cinch y like that. Yeah, so if we use my earlier identity, you can see the proof for that in the link in the description below. What we'll do is we'll put in uh, cosh x minus y. So all we're doing is putting in the y as negative. That would equal to cosh x times it by cosh negative y and then plus right here cinch x times cinch uh, negative y like that. So that's the only thing that's going to change. And now recall the identity for cosh negative y or we could just look at the definition. So cosh, I'll just put another uh, note right here. Note that cosh if we use the definition of negative y, well, uh, just the definition of cosh is equal to e to the power of, uh, right here I'll put negative y, and then plus e to the power of negative, negative y, just using the definition. And now this equals 2, what we'll have is this becomes positive there, so we'll have e positive y, um, and I'll move it on this side, and then plus e to the negative y. So I just move this over to that side, divided by 2. This just equals to cosh y. That's just by definition, like that. So we have cosh negative y equals to cosh y. So we just replace that. And also for cinch of negative y, plug this into the definition. This equals to e to the power of here negative y minus now e to the power of negative negative y over 2 equals 2. Yeah, well, what this equals to is now what we have is this is a negative. I'll put that one in front because that's positive over there. So we have a negative e to the positive y and then plus e to the negative y over 2. And now what I'll do is I'll take out the negative. This equals to negative. And then we take it out e to the y minus e to the negative y like that over 2. And the reason we're doing that is now that's just a definition of, well, cinch. Now we have uh, this now equals to negative and then cinch y like that. Yeah, so we have the uh, cinch negative y equals negative cinch y and cosh negative y is the same as just cosh y. So thus we can put this all down over here and I'll highlight this. So thus we have, so thus we have uh, cosh x minus y equals to cosh x times by cosh y, because cosh negative y is equal to cosh y. And then the only thing, this one's going to go to cinch y, but then we'll have a negative. So this will just be negative or minus cinch x times by cinch y like that. And that is what we have right there. And we just circle it. So yeah, that's the exact same as the cosh x plus y, but we're putting a negative instead of a plus there. Anyways, that's all for today. This is a very quick uh, der derivation video because I'll be using this in later videos. Might as well do it all right now. Anyways, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.